there. Look how smooth those rocks are. Wow. And all the rocks in there have been kind of just... Okay, hopefully I can uh, get this in. My batteries are dying. The cave is way across on the other side over here. Past that buoy. All the way across the lake, the other side. Got some waves coming in here. And I'm going to be checking that out at some point. But I've come to this cove and all the way around and done a whole bunch of taking a bunch of photos. But it's been all over here, everywhere around here. There's nests and claw marks and triangles and cut marks in the rocks and everything. So I'm going to head back towards the lake, go around to the right, and back to vehicle. But I'll be back. Maybe I'll see something on my way back that I'll get because I've got pretty decent battery right now. Weird. Anyhow, chat soon. One of the reasons why it's a little dangerous going across the lake. I'm about halfway to where I need to be, but it's an active runway. fast or you'll get get hit by a plane taking off or landing. I think they were waiting for me. You know, paddle, paddle, paddle. I'm gonna head back there at some point, but it's quite a quite a long long haul. So I'm gonna put the uh, kayak in at another point that's a bit closer to this area. But uh, beautiful day. Seeing lots more evidence of this everywhere there's rocks. Everywhere there's rocks. I need to be, where am I going? Past the buoys. In that direction. I'm about halfway there. Onward. Okay, so there's the cave over there where it's all gouged out. You can see it's probably made its nest. I mean, it looks like a giant gouge in the rock way over there and I was uh, way across the other side way over there along that area along there and go a little further all right anyhow Heading back, it's getting on. We'll go back to the cave at some point. And every time I look at that, it looks like one of these giant scratch marks, gouge marks in the uh, in the rock. Like I've been showing you, these things are much, much larger than you would think. They take up an entire mountainside. Anyhow, my battery's probably gonna die, so uh, I'll be wrapping this uh, trip up today. And uh, we'll see you guys at some point in the near future. squeeze a little more life out of this battery. And look, doesn't that look like cut marks coming straight down into the water? And then there's like, along the way, where is it? Right next to it, there's a giant triangle, like cut marks going all the way right there. Like, look, giant cut mark out of the rock with the triangle right next to it. A 
big triangle. Cut mark in the side of the rock there. And then a cut mark in the side of the rock. Big cut marks going all the way up the side of this cliff. Right up to where there's big cut marks in the rock. Look at that. Like giant size compared to what we saw today. As I look at it from a distance, it's like a giant cut out of the out of the side of that. And the triangles going up the side, taking chunks out of the mountain as it goes. There was something a lot larger here at one time or or now, who knows?